This is my Macintosh Classic 2. I booted it up the last time almost three years ago. You might ask why? Well, the answer is Apple in the 90s was just like Apple in 2019. And that is that they thought it's a good idea to make their own proprietary input device connector. So no PS2 or anything. They had their own stupid Apple desktop bus connector. And because I never had such an old Mac before and nobody ever had in my area, it was really, really hard to track down a mouse and keyboard for it. Because guess what? There are no adapters or anything to USB or PS2. No, you have to have Apple's proprietary stupid keyboard and mouse. So, I went ahead and bought this knockoff ADB mouse, which I hope works, from eBay for 15 euros. Alright, let that go through your head. 15 euros for a stupid plastic mouse. And I bought this absolutely filthy Apple keyboard from a guy who unfortunately lost or forgot the cable. So I bought on another cable. So what I had to do is I had to go on eBay yet again and I had to, to make the mistake and buy this for 18 euros which uh, is a space shuttle on it. I don't know, was it used on a space shuttle or why is it so expensive? I don't know, but unfortunately the the most cost was the shipping and there was no other way. But yeah, I guess I could have just bought another keyboard with a cable for cheaper, but whatever, right? Whatever. So, um, so three years later, I can finally Boot this old sucker up, see if it still works. In three years doing nothing, a lot can happen. Hard drive can die, capacitors can die, the battery could leak or whatever. You know, it could be a whole catastrophe. Uh, but we don't know until we try to start it. So, um, we now got here the ultimate 90s Apple setup except the mouse. No original Apple mouse, but I don't care really. Uh, um, this was... I think made in 1991 and it should run an operating system but as I said the last time I booted it, it booted fine but I couldn't navigate in the OS or anything so we will see if it still boots and I even have a floppy in here I don't know if the floppy reader or anything works but we will see so since this is also my first time using Apple Desktop Bus we can check it out here uh, this is I think for the mouse does the connector work? Gosh, for a second I thought the connector was wrong. But yeah, it, it, it worked. That's good. This keyboard really needs a really good clean. Okay. We got some more I.O. but we'll not worry about that except the power connector, of course. And this plugs in right there. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure the switch is turned off so it doesn't boot until we give it its order to boot. So, we get the setup all ready. But before we, before we do it, I want to give you a quick backstory how I got hold of this guy. I wasn't really searching for any of these Macintoshes because I thought I would never be able to buy one for a reasonable price anyway, but then a good friend of mine said his dad who worked in a newspaper in the 90s had this Macintosh and if I wanted to buy it, and I was like, sure. And he gave it to me for 15 euros. What a steal, especially because it was working. I didn't even care if it worked or not. Until this time, I hadn't even seen one in person, like this style of Mac, not at all. And it's been since that as well. They're very, very rare in Austria. Only a very few people used Mac OS and stuff in the 90s. And yeah, uh, those who have these, they know their, they know their value. So they price it at pretty high prices. But yeah, um, we will see if it degraded its value or if it held its value. We all 
want to know that. Does it still work? <laughs> okay. Three years since we booted this sucker up. I am really, really curious if it still works. All right. Three, two, one. Let's flip the switch and hope for the best. Three, two, one. Come on, old Mac. Ho ho ho! CRT kick back in action. And also our lovely chime. Hard disk does spin. Very loud. <laughs> Alright, I detected our floppy here, so the floppy mechanism does still work. We got a happy Mac! Willkommen means welcome. And I gotta say, this is a really sharp looking CRT still. It's not blurry or it doesn't have any degrading on it. Really, really sharp picture from this old CRT. It booted up! Holy crap! <laughs> this old Macintosh is not ready to give up yet. Alright. So, there it is! Three years later, just ready for service. Really, really loud hard disk. All right, let's check out if our input devices work. Yes, mouse does work. Holy shit, I can move the cursor. Holy shit, let's go to the Apple. Maybe the mouse button doesn't work. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No way. <laughs> no. No, you got to be serious! Oh, you got to be kidding me! The mouse cursor works, but the button... <laughs> oh, that is so freaking annoying! Let's see what we got. Can we navigate with the keyboard? Alright, let's press Apple and O, that means open it, so we can finally open the hard disk, which contains system. Alright, let's see, system, try that again. No, the mouse button is officially dead. Oh, what was that? What was that? For a second it tried to drag the... <laughs> Hey, I managed to click. I managed to click. That is, there we go. The mouse, the mouse button works with immense force. I'm not kidding. You don't believe how much I press down on it. Just check out what I'm doing here. This is the mouse button. You would touch it like this. No chance it doesn't work. You have to really slam it to do something. All right, come on. That is the most horrible user experience ever. <sighs> Double clicks are impossible, I guess. No chance. Let's try to click here. Yeah. <laughs> Can we make it about the Macintosh? Alright. So that was... That was something we wanted to know all the years. That is a Macintosh Classic 2. It's running Apple System Software 7.1. I don't know how far you could upgrade this guy. Maybe like one version newer or something still. But 7.1 is pretty recent for this old Mac. If you ask me. Maybe they upgraded the system or something. And we got 8... Megabytes of RAM, or no, eight giga, eight megabytes of hard drive storage, and I think four megabytes of RAM. And yeah, that is nineties goodness. All right, let's try to close that window. No double clicking. That's impossible, virtually. 
But we got still Command O, so we can open system and see what's in there. But yeah, good that I still know how to move around the OS without the mouse. And one click is is working okay if you know how to use it, which sounds pretty weird, but like I now know where to press the mouse button, like further further up it doesn't work, there's it's doing nothing, but further down it Oh well, now it started working. What? You were just a live witness. Was I too stupid to use the mouse or or was I just using it like did did nineties people use their mouse differently or what? But when I press the mouse button further back it oh now it's back to not working. Alright we get a an unreliable contact somewhere. Hmm. Well who knows how, how long this mouse has been laying, you know. But yeah, let's see what we got in here in our old Mac hard drive. Alright. Microsoft Word 5.1 from 93. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Shout out to our newspaper here where I got the Mac from. Whoa, what is that? There's some some characters which are weird. Let's try to create a new file. New file. Yeah, there we go. Try to type on it. If I can. I am... Oh yeah, by the way. Um, the, <laughs> the space bar is stuck in there. I just bought the world's shittiest Apple accessories here. Um, so yeah, I guess I have to write without space bar. Hello? I am writing <laughs> something on the Macintosh Classic 2 Array. Oh, the A is also not working too great. New Array. Yes, it works. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Satellite information. Approximately 15,000 man-made objects have been placed in orbit since Sputnik it was launched in 1957. Alright, we got a document about satellites, which is uh, great. Um, let's close that. System, what is that? Arnold, I'll be back. What? <laughs> no way, is that Arnold Schwarzenegger's like... I will be back, record it or something. I'll be back. <laughs> no way! Freaking insane. Let's listen to that again. I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, can we turn that volume up a bit? Or is the only like one setting? I don't see a control on the keyboard anywhere or here nowhere uh, okay well I I really gotta say this is this is just awesome well what else can I say <laughs> didn't expect that <laughs> now, all these operating systems in the 90s had all these crazy sounds like Windows had its awesome login sounds and error sounds and, and Mac had this <laughs> <laughs> and nowadays in Windows 10 and we get all like ding 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 nothing really nothing cool anymore but yeah times change operating systems were more fun back in the days or at least they're programmers uh, I really really would like to show you some more cool stuff but there is really not all that much on here Nobody really saved something on the hard disk. Uh, we got your Untitled MS. 
Whoa, what is all of this? Tetris, Blackjack, Microsoft Word. Oh, here we got some stuff. Stunt Copter. Games. Oh, now, now we found something. Pool. Go oh, on, launch that. Hopefully the hardware isn't too weak or, or it's not corrupted or something. <laughs> okay, how, how does you how do you play this? <laughs> it's even got like a cool sound effect. Well, I I think you will need the space bar to to, to let that guy fall or something. Um, if I could only press the space bar. <laughs> Maybe I can repair that space bar and then it's... Yeah, I'm sorry guys, there's nothing we can do. Backspace to exit. Alright, that was stunt copter. Pool! A 1985 game. Ha, awesome shit. Alright. Um... Oh wow, that was... That was great shot. Uh, oh yeah, now I get it. All right, all right, all right. Boom. Yeah, that is that is pool for you. Working okay. Smooth sixty frames. All right. Let's see. Ooh, it's even full screen. Ooh, fancy. Who are we? I guess we're the white. Or how do you, is it still loading or what? <sighs> yeah, I want to start playing, please. Ah, there we go. Yeah, there. The computer plays against me. Come on, computer, what's up? Oh, I do the same now. Did you think? The Mac likes the the horses. That's <laughs> fun. I could go on with this game, for example. Ooh. Oh, that was stupid. That was stupid. Incredible stupid. Just quickly do that. That was stupid too, but whatever. Now he kills this. Oh, oh, it's not doing that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't expect that. For, for the end here, I, I, first of all, I'm very happy to see that this old Mac Classic still still works perfectly without an issue. Some people had the worry that the capacitors or something needed changing or or something, but and, and, and I think it would be good practice to open it up and check them. Also, give it a good clean and maybe do some some maintenance like changing this age, very aged like bias battery or something. But yeah, for now, as, as I'm always gonna do it, I'm just gonna leave it and wait until it breaks, because that's the way I do things. <laughs> but yeah, um, let's just check out what's this. And if the, if the floppy still works, that, that would be great, because then I can also maybe try and get some newer operating systems on here, or older OS's. It recognized it. Let's see. What? No way! No freaking way. This is a newspaper from 1992. Only these two on here. Well, we gotta check this out. We gotta check this out. From the 1st of, of November 1992. <laughs> How cool is that? Alright. I have to send that to my friend and maybe he that he shows it his dad because he would surely remember that uh, yeah if it works Quark Express I've honestly no idea what this is for maybe some newspaper program like a uh, InDesign of the age or something no way! There we go, it loads the newspaper, guys. It loads the newspaper! <laughs> that is... incredible! But I did make the newspaper on this Mac. 
which I find really awesome. Piece of history in my country region thing. Bezirk, whatever. There we go. There we go. There is some some stuff we can read. Uh, where does it start? <laughs> All material was reused in the warm uh, season. There is every year a there is construction work on the incredible ruin. <laughs> Oh, interesting, right? Yeah. Well, never mind, guys. I mean, this is cool to find this. I really have to send that to a friend of my friend, and he should show it to his dad. And actually, I will try to open this up on like a more powerful system and and see, you know, the whole file like on a bigger monitor with with more colors, also maybe. But yeah, um, this is it guys, the Mac Classic 2, after three years of sleep, it just booted right up, ready for service, let's see if it ejects, um, it doesn't do it on a keyboard, let's try to drag it in the trash, yeah, there we go, funny story for the end. Uh, a professor at my university told us that when he first used the Mac in the 90s he would be afraid of dragging the floppy to the trash for it checked in because he thought that he's gonna erase the floppy. I mean it kind of makes sense when you think about it. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was fun. Okay, let's shut it down. Make this old hard drive a little... Give it a rest. Shut it down. You can turn off your Macintosh right now. Oh, so you have to turn it off this way. Um, oh, that, that is weird. That's awkward. So I really have to, to flip the power switch. And this is how you do it. All right. Didn't expect that. Feels wrong. But yeah, it told me to do that. Good. Well, after all, my overpriced accessory here did the trick, even though this mouse is garbage and the keyboard is garbage, but we could use this great old Macintosh again. It could need a clean, it is filthy, I mean I kept it away in a closet to, you know, not to get it even more dusty, but um, yeah, I think it can't hurt to look inside of this guy like just to see what's up if there's some stuff leaking and maybe something's rusted or you know who knows what happened over these almost 30 years of of its life um and maybe give it some little maintenance and then just to make it healthy but for now this is a very healthy macintosh classic uh I maybe will upgrade this to a different operating system or downgrade it or whatever. But for now, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. That was a very, very interesting experience. And so, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.